Hi everyone, we want to present a new video from runhorse.com and it's going to be 10 tips to help you win at roulette. And let's get right into it. Tip number one is to only play a roulette wheel with one zero. If you play the wheels with two zeros, it might not seem like a big difference, but over time it's a big advantage for the casino. Uh, with one uh, zero on the wheel, the house has a 2.7% advantage over you. Uh, with two zeros on the wheel, you're up to 5.2%. So it's a big, big difference over time. It's almost double. And the house will definitely like that advantage. So you're going to lose a lot more money in the long run with two zeros and one. It's an extra space on the wheel. So stick with those uh, wheels with one zero. And that's tip number one. It's time for tip number two. And that's to avoid these double your bet systems. Uh, you might have read about these on the internet. Uh, everyone seems to have a system out there that they're selling or hawking and, uh, you know, most of these systems, uh, you know, if basically if someone had a system that they could beat the casino, they wouldn't sell it to you. They would just walk into a casino and they would just get rich. Uh, there'd be no point in that. So most of them are just scams right out. Uh, I'll have to be uh, honest with you from the facts. So, um, so you want to avoid these, especially these double your bet systems. Uh, let me explain that to you. That would be like a red or black system, for example. They might say, okay, uh, you bet on red, you bet $20, and if it doesn't come red, then you double your bet to 40 And if it doesn't come red again, you bet 80 trying to pick up that initial 20 Well, the problem with this system is if you run into a bad streak, uh, you're going to end up losing a lot of money quickly because those double your bets are going to really, uh, really get expensive quickly. And the other problem is you will run into a limit. The casinos know about these uh, betting systems. And after you lose, say, five, six, seven in a row on a double, you run into a, uh, a house maximum bet. So it might be $500. It might be uh, $2,500, depending on the wheel. And you're going to have to risk that. And you cannot risk any more than that on red. So you get to a certain point. If you lose enough times, uh, you cannot recoup your original bet. And by then, you're going to be so many, uh, so much in the hole to win the original 20. It's going to be ridiculous. So um, those uh, those are definitely systems to avoid. So stay away from those systems. And uh, I would say systems in general are uh, not a winning strategy. Okay, let's move on to tip number three. And that's to always get rated when playing. And uh, this is just a general tip uh, when you're playing a uh, casino uh, table game. You want to get rated. And what that means is you want to present your card or your identification when uh, buying into the table and you want to get the uh, the floor man or the pit boss to go ahead and rate you. And what that means is they're going to start uh, your play and they're going to go ahead and uh, observe your play and they're going to they're going to give you uh, you're going to earn credits for the casino. So you're going to earn uh, basically you can earn money or you can earn uh, vouchers, anything like that. You can earn buffets. So this is just something that you want to do always when you're playing. You want to get rated, and uh, if you uh, you can get freebies from the casino. So why wouldn't you take advantage of that? If you play, and the longer you play, the more the more freebies you're going to get. And if you uh, play for higher stakes, then you're gonna you're gonna earn more. So that's how this works. So definitely get rated when you're playing. Okay, let's move on to tip number four, and that's to bet on streaks and not against them, especially red and black streaks. And let's talk about this. Um, the first, uh, I'll be honest with you, one of the first times I played roulette, I saw a board and it was just coming red, 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 red. It must have been five, six in a row. So I walked up and I naturally figured it was going to, it was due to come black. So I threw $25 on black and uh, long story short is $200 later, I learned that it could keep coming up red. So um, actually, the best way to hurt the casino is on a streak and not against it because uh, they actually love when you bet against these streaks because just like I showed you in that last example, uh, the wheel, um, every, uh, every spin is going to be the exact same odds. So um, if sometimes those streaks will, will persevere and uh, you will see these streaks where they go five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in a row or more, red or black. And uh, if you start betting against them, you're generally going to end up on the losing end of it. And uh, the casino likes that because if you do bet, uh, it comes five in a row red and you do bet uh, black and it doesn't come, then you have to bet again and you're trying to get your money back. And, and we've all been in that spot and that's not a good place to be. 
So if you get on one of these streaks, um, you can actually uh, do some damage to the casino. Uh, a lot of times they will be streaky, especially red and black. So I would recommend if you're a red or black player and you see one of these streaks uh, to stick with it because uh, it's very, very common throughout a night to see five, six, seven in a row of uh, one, uh, one color. And so you can ride those streaks for a while and uh, they can be profitable for you. And there's some people that even start to... They'll start with a small stake on red or black, and they will double their bet. So I could start with $10, $10, say, on black. If it comes black, I have 20 now. I bet the 20. Now I have 40. I bet the 40, I have 80. I bet the 80, I have 160. You see how quick it can add up. So, you you know, you might want to go for three, four in a row, and then you might want to cash out and, and start again, or uh, you might want to continue depending on how uh, and how, how crazy you want to get, but uh, there's some possibilities there for some big, big win uh, on these streaks. So definitely bet on the streak and not against it. Okay, let's uh, move on to tip number five, and that's we recommend to stick with a set of numbers and don't switch them around. Um, let's be honest with you, roulette is a game of chance. Uh, it's strictly a game of chance, and uh, the wheel is going to do whatever it wants, the ball is going to fall wherever it wants to, and the numbers are going to be, uh, you know, they can do whatever they want to do. So this is a game uh, that's purely luck. And, uh, you know, um, the, whatever numbers come out on the wheel is, is purely chance. Uh, but, you know, we're giving you some uh, some ways that you can go ahead, you know, over time uh, that you can um, you can adjust your strategies. And uh, this will help you over time because, you know, uh, as far as being lucky, we can't help you there. But we can help you as to how to win or how to maximize those wins and losses. So that's what we're looking for. So we would recommend that you stick with a set of numbers and don't switch them around because, uh, you've probably all done this at a roulette wheel. You might be playing uh, 19, for example, that's my number, or I might like uh, 36 or uh, 4 or whatever it is, and then all of a sudden it hasn't been coming out in a while, and I, well, okay, I'll switch to something else, and boom, there's 19, boom, there's 36. So I would recommend you have a certain amount of numbers, and you just go ahead and play those numbers, and uh, you're either going to be lucky or you're not going to be lucky. And uh, you know, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't stay there forever. Uh, if your numbers are hitting, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna make some money. And uh, if your numbers are not, then, uh, then you're not gonna win that night. So that's, uh, that's our tip there to switch, uh, stick with a certain set of numbers that you like, and to, um, you know, don't switch those because uh, every time that you try to switch numbers, uh, you're just gonna be, uh, you know, it's almost like a lottery type deal where you want to play the same numbers all the time, and you know, when you get that one lucky day. You're going to make a lot of money. And that's what this game is about, trying to make a lot of money in a, in a short period of time. So best of luck with that. That's tip number five. Okay, let's uh, move on to tip number six. And uh, we would recommend that if you win four to five times your original uh, starting stake, so that means if you start with $100, for example, and you win, uh, you end up with four or $500 on the table, that it's time to just walk away, take your profit. Uh, you had a very good outing, you had a very good session, and uh, and why keep playing? Just walk away, and uh, you can always take a break. You could come back later with a fresh hundred, and uh, you could start again or tomorrow. And we all know that greed kills as a gambler, so you have to be smart with your money. And uh, so this is one of those situations where we re would recommend. You're going to have to walk away with profits if you want to keep playing in a casino. Otherwise, if you keep playing, the casino is going to get your money eventually. And uh, that's uh, that's just the way it works uh, mathematically. So for a short period of time, you can beat them, but in the long run, you can't. So we would recommend that that's the, that's the strategy you employ. Now, if you do get on a really good roll, uh, what I like to do sometimes if my numbers are really hitting I'll say, okay, I'm up four or five hundred dollars. Uh, I'm gonna go three more spins, five more spins. If I don't hit another number, boom, I'm done. And that's what you have to do. And you just have to be smart about it and walk away. So that's uh, definitely a, something that I would recommend. That's a, that's a very important tip to follow is to walk away with a nice profit. Okay, let's move on to tip number seven, and that's to play five numbers or less for maximum profits. And what we would recommend in this situation is, uh, you know, roulette is about making money. And if you want to make a large amount of money, if you want to win a lot of money, uh, your best strategy is to play a few numbers and uh, to play those numbers. And uh, because, you know, you're getting the 35 to 1 if your number does hit. 
So for each number that you play, you're, you're dropping those odds down. So uh, if you play one number, you only have to hit it 1 in 35 times to break even. So think about that. So if you play one number, you like 19, for example, or you like 20, or, or you like 36, or whatever your favorite number is, if you play that one number, you only have to hit 1 in 35 to, to, to break even. So that doesn't seem like too, it, you know, in the long run, you're going to lose in the short term, but you may, you know, close to even. So the more numbers that you play, if you play, uh, I see some people, they just play a ridiculous amount of numbers. If you play 20 numbers, you're only getting 35 uh, to 1. So you're only getting 30, 35, uh, you know, plus your original bet bank, you're going to get 36. So 20, you're going to get 36. You're actually not even doubling your money if you play 20 numbers. And you have to hit almost every spin, more than every spin, uh, you know, uh, you have to hit at least uh, better than 50% to, to even break even. So it kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, I see some people walk up and they bet all the, the whole table almost, and it, it's just ridiculous, really. So to me, uh, I would pick uh, three, four, five numbers, something like that, and I would go ahead and play those, whether it's a birth date or it's your... Uh, it's your wedding anniversary or something like that. And, uh, you know, that's uh, that's what I would stick with. And uh, if those numbers are hot, uh, you're going to you're going to do well. You're going to do well. And, uh, you know, you could just walk up and play one number. And uh, that's that's the thrill of roulette. Uh, you can make a big profit. You throw five or ten, uh, ten bucks on a number and you make a nice profit. You know, ten dollars on a number. It can be three hundred and fifty dollar returns. So if you sit down with fifty dollars. And you play one number five times and you hit one, uh, you know, you made $300. So uh, it's not easy, but uh, that's the strategy that I would recommend for you. So uh, good luck with that. Okay, let's move on to tip number eight. And that's that hot numbers can stay hot while cold numbers can stay cold. And we've probably all seen this if you've been to a casino before and you've played roulette. Uh, sometimes numbers are just hot. Uh, you can have a number and it's just hitting. It's just hitting over and over. It uh, can even be repeating. So uh, numbers uh, can do that. Uh, you know, sometimes you'll see a number, uh, whatever number, number eight. Uh, I'll see it come eight. Uh, it'll come uh, 12 and then it'll come eight again. And then it might even repeat eight. And then four or five spins later, you see eight again. And then an hour later, you start to see eight again. So just, uh, you know, if you're if you have a number that's hot, uh, you know, keep sticking with it and uh, until it gets cold, because uh, it can be hot for a while. In fact, some numbers are hot all night long when I've been at casino and I play one session or one evening and uh, vice versa. Cold numbers can stay cold. Unfortunately, uh, every uh, spin of that wheel is a random event. And uh, just because a number hasn't come out for 50, 50 spins or 100 spins, uh, it doesn't mean it's gonna it's due to come out. Uh, we all like to think like that. Okay, it's due. And I guess if you do a long enough pattern over time of uh, 500 spins or 1,000 spins, then, then maybe it would be, uh, you know, eventually it's going to have to hit every number. But you can lose a lot of money chasing that cold number. So I would look more into the side of, uh, you know, if your numbers are hot, to go with them. And uh, if they're cold, then uh, it's just not your night and just to walk away instead of trying to chase uh, chase that number. Because, uh, you know, I've played a number uh, for, for three, four hours before and it, it hasn't hit. So it's just that way. And then the next day you come back to the casino or a week later and that number is just hitting like crazy. So that's the way it works and that's the kind of game it is. So hot numbers will definitely can stay hot and Cold numbers can stay icy cold. Okay, let's go to tip number nine, and that's to never take your money off of a winning bet. That numbers can and do repeat. And this one always drives me crazy in a casino. You'll see some people sometimes where they make a bet on a number. Uh, it could be 10, for instance. Somebody puts five, five bucks on 10, and it hits 10, and uh, they just get paid, and it's 35 to 1. They got a $175 profit. And uh, they say, oh, 10's not going to come back, so I'll pull my money off 10, and I play something else. And boom, it comes number 10. And I've seen this many, many a times where the number repeats, and it can even, I've seen numbers repeat three in a row. In a casino, I've seen it several times. And I think maybe even one time it was almost four in a row. It was three, and then it was, four is very, very rare, but I've seen three in a row multiple times. So... I would never take uh, a winning chip off the table. Uh, numbers can and do repeat. 
So if you had uh, four or five numbers out there and uh, you, you, you won on that roll, uh, you know, I would take the profit for sure. I'm not saying to reinvest the profit, but I would leave the winning uh, chips where they're at and uh, because the numbers can and they do repeat and it, that often happens. So uh, uh, you will see this uh, time and time again. Uh, I can almost guarantee in a, in a night you will see several numbers repeating. So if your numbers are hot, uh, you do not want to miss that uh, repeater because, uh, you know, that's another 35 to 1 uh, payout. And that uh, that's, can be a big payout over time. So you're taking a lot of money off the table and, and you've already, you're already at a nice profit if you hit a number. So I would just leave the money where it's at. Uh, you know, that's a cardinal rule in the casino. Never take uh, your money off a winning bet. And uh, you'll hear that talked about by the dealers and, uh, and the pit bosses many a time. And it goes for more games and just roulette. So good luck with that tip. Okay, let's move into the last tip, and that's tip number 10. And this is not going to apply to everyone, but if you're an outside better, and an outside means that you're playing outside of the numbers, you're not playing inside. Uh, if, you're, if you're a player, inside is inside the box where you're playing on the numbers. If you're playing outside, you're playing the colors, you're playing red or black, or you're playing odd or even, or you're playing high or low. So you're playing 1 to 18 or 19 to 36. And those bets all pay 1 to 1, which is even money. So you have pretty much almost a 50 50 uh, chance of winning that with the uh, with the zero out there, with one zero that is. I would only recommend uh, those bets with a table with one zero, like we talked about uh, in our earlier tip. And the house advantage there is 2.7%. So it's not that bad. So if you want to throw a big bet on red or black, for instance, or uh, 1 to 18 or 19 to 36 or odd or even, if I'm going to walk up and I'm going to bet $100 or more on black, say, okay, say I want to bet black and I want to bet $200, I see this a lot. And I see somebody bet 200 on black and they don't cover the zero. And uh, to me, you have to put something on the zero in that, in that factor, uh, in that situation, because uh, for a small bet on the zero, uh, you'd be surprised how many times I bet red or black uh, and that zero is going to come out. It's going to burn you once in a while. 